Hi guys, welcome to my first weekly forest forecast. Last week was not so impressive, especially in terms of uh, US dollar. As we saw ranging uh, market throughout the week from Monday to Friday, it's just a uh, ranging going back and forth, like from support to resistance, from resistance to support. So, but it's still the DSY is still in a downtrend. So checking the fundamental, the fundamental aspect too. Uh, it's a quiet week last week for US dollar and this week too uh, I think it should be the same uh, where we will have more volatility coming coming to the US dollar is next month when they will drop the interest rate report so this week on Monday we don't have much on the uh, on fundamental on Tuesday we have the US CB consumer confidence on Wednesday we have the AUD CPI which is the most um, uh, inflation measure fundamental for the AUD right here so let's see how it goes if this comes out uh, better than expected we should see AUD to the upside AUD that is a uh, let's say AUD USD to the upside then uh, AUD JPY to the upside and other UDPS but if you see it's coming uh, let's say below expectation then we should see the decline in the AUD pairs. On top of it, we have the advanced GDP and the unemployment link. Take note of this one too. It's a high impact news as it's, it is denoted with a uh, red. And then on Friday, we have the JPY, that is um Bank of Japan monetary policy report. So let's uh, take note of this too on Friday. So I think that's all we have next week. It's not uh, very interesting in terms of uh, fundamental right there, except for the AUD and the Japanese yen. That's two currency you have to look out for. So the best pair you might want to trade is uh, ADJPY, maybe uh, after the Wednesday news and then some, you can use some tentative results or some forecast result here on the BOJ outlook to uh, know where exactly where the next uh, move of that pair will be. So next week, uh, sorry this week, yeah I mean this week, here's a lot should continue uh, the decline so let's check the DSY as you can see DSY is on a decline mode which it does not break through this particular level on the daily time frame if you check the daily time frame very well from Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday is just in one place so it does not break this level to the upside signally uh, the USD strength so all we have here is USD uh, weakness so what I'm looking at is for you to Touch this particular support level. Maybe we might see a bounce back from here or a break of this uh, particular support level. Let's see how it goes. So, in respect to that, let's first check out. Um, let's first check out gold. Yeah. So gold in four hour time frame. So as you can see, gold has hit this particular support level. So this first one, the second one, telling with the trend line, and then I think the third one, which. Uh, can be seen as a double bottom right there. So you can see, you can look for a bounce at this particular level, and then uh, the take profit level will actually be at a 2045.91. This is what I'm looking to trade uh, at this point area. So I may not be trade, taking this trade if we have a uh, what we call a break of this chain line. Then I might wait for here to look for another bounce at this particular area. To go long then if it break this area then that's when i will not be taking a long position any longer so is it that we have a bounce here or we break this trend line and then we have a bounce at this uh, particular area that's what i'm looking at on uh, looking out for on good right now so the next thing i want to check is uh usd usd to last week i told you that uh we are not done with us dollar with me so this two we should see uh, more move to the upside in this particular pair. So actually we might see a retrace to this particular area. Then this is the target right there. This is where I'm looking to take my first profit. That is at 1.11629. And I will not be taking this trade if we have a break below this green line. This green horizontal line. I might not be taking this trade if we have a break below it. But if let's say we have a break to the side, I will be looking to take a long position here to then if if it breaks this side too i'll be looking to take a long position from here to but if we break of this particular line i will not be looking to take any uh long position particular the target is one 
629. So the next pair we want to check is our uh, is TPP US dollar. US dollar to the continuation of uh, US dollar weakness. I'm looking uh, to to take the upside position. That is uh, to take the long position. So we might actually see a retracement to this level. Then I'm taking the long position and. The take profit is at 1.26401. If we have the break of this particular trail line, I will take the long position at 1.23485. So where I will not be taking any position, any long position, if it is if it break this horizontal line, I will not be taking any long position at that particular area. That's when I may be looking for sell position. But actually, the old bias is to the is to the outside. So and the Opposite effect might actually come in at 1.26420. So the next one I want to look at is ADUSD. You know, we have AUD CPI news on Tuesday. So then we might see if it comes out better than expected, then we might see a bounce at this particular area, breaking this particular resistance level. But if we see it, uh, let's say, if we see a disappointing CPI at that particular area, then we should see. A break of this particular trend line then maybe small retracement then you move to the uh to the downside so you have to watch uh the cpi news out of that is on wednesday yeah not on Tuesday. on wednesday cpi news out of the australian uh dollar so the next one i want to check is uh the us dollar canadian dollar as you can see we have a resistant level at this particular area so i'm looking to take short position at market open to 1.29792 so if we have um, maybe a move to break this particular area i might not be taking any position at that particular area so i'm looking to take this sell position at this particular resistance level to 1.29792 as uh my bias is on us dollar weakness the continuation of us dollar weakness so Taking out the S in the US dollar, um, there is a bit controversy on this particular pair right there. So it depends on the candle close on Monday because um, yeah, we have the bearish candle close on Friday. So actually, this signal a continuation to the uh, downside. So actually, you might see maybe a small retracement and continuation to the downside. Or if you see a bounce at this particular area. Then if you have a break of this particular trend line, then actually we can see more move to what more move uh, to the upside, but it's a little bit confusing at that particular. So I'll be with, uh, willing to risk but here, yeah. right? Yeah, to look for my entry. And then the next one is a Japanese yen. So you have to watch uh, the fundamental coming up of the Japan is on Friday. So signaling the US dollar weakness, then we should see this to the downside here yeah. as it fails to break this particular resistance level if it, let's check the four hour frame it fails to break this level this resistance level uh want to form something we we'll call head and shoulder like as you can see so i'll be looking for more moves to the upside and the take uh, sorry to the downside and the take of its one is uh one thirty two six uh two six then if you see a break of this trend line, then take profit two at uh, one point. Uh, so you want to eight two nine six. That's what I'm looking at on US dollar particular. So I'll not be looking at a short position if we see a break of this particular resistance level. So let's keep KJPY right now. So the next one is a uh, AUD Swiss franc. AUD Swiss franc is to the downside. Um, we have been. Doing the analysis and then uh, predicting the uh, downside maybe since 30 to 4 weeks ago and it's been respecting uh, the analysis. So here too, we might actually see it to this side, then continuation to the downside to this is the take profit target 0.5843. Actually, you might actually look for a and then a bounce that is a rejection at this trend line level. So the next one is a AUD card. AUD card has broken this particular resistance to the upside, and it has do um, is done with the uh, what we call the retracement setup. That is a, a breakout and 
uh, retest and then a rejection. So checking the one hour time frame, we can actually see that there's a bounce at that particular trend line. So it test the trend line and it bounce up. So right now we can look for retracement and then a rejection at that particular level to the upside. So the target is um, 0 0.9 to 0 0.93. That's the target right there. So I'll be looking to trade if we have a break below this uh, particular trend line level. So Evo USD is the next pair, which uh, we actually did the analysis last week and then we favor to the upside. But right now we might actually see a retracement before the continuation to the upside and then the the target is at 1.6682 right there so trade will be like this if it break this particular uh going horizontal line then it means that that trade has been uh that trade idea has been invalidated at that particular level so the last one is um the jpy as in the jpy checking the four hour time frame or let's check the daily time frame So you can see that it has rejected this particular constant level with the trend line at this particular area. So it means that uh, we still have more move to the to the downside on as in the JPY. As you can see, it has breakout of this level. Too. So the next target is um 79395. But we might actually see a retracement before the continuation. To the downside at a particular area. So where I will not be taking any short position is if it break this particular resistance and this particular trail line to the downside. So this is the weekly forest forecast. Um, if you are new to this channel, click like, subscribe, and share. So there is a link to the Telegram group in the description box. Kindly check it and then and join the Telegram group where I drop the live trading signal every day. So take care. Have a good trading week.